GM's most recent um, past and its current economic times, um, what is making, what is driving the organization to make quality a top priority, not only in this country but worldwide? Yeah, this, uh, it, it really is become a, a top priority. And a couple of things um, I would say, especially because of our you know, economic distress that we were in, mm -hmm. uh, we had to make sure that we had the fundamentals of the business right. Uh, there's nothing good about going through a bankruptcy. There's just nothing good about it. Uh, it's only better than the alternative. But you might as well, if you have to go through uh, bankruptcy, you, should, you need to power through it, and you need to get out the other side you know, as healthy and as strong as you can and get your fundamentals correct. Uh, a couple things happened. One, we clarified our mission as a company. And our mission is, is never, in my whole career, it's never been so crystal clear. General Motors will design, build, and sell the world's best vehicles. That's pretty clear. We will design, build, and sell the world's best vehicles. And we went forward to get our IPO and to, to take the, the business public mm -hmm. again. Uh, we had to convince Wall Street and the analysts and, and investors that we had a new business model. And it was a business model that would generate profit. And that profit would be able to be, be you know, brought back into the business and continue and uh, sustain uh, a healthy business. And that whole business model was predicated on designing, building, and selling the world's best vehicles, vehicles that people appreciate, uh, that, that they're willing even to pay a, pay, pay a premium for. Mm -hmm. So um, that became a real focus. And we understand that what it means to uh, design, build, and sell the world's best vehicles without quality, forget it. There's no way to accomplish that mission. So quality became the foundation of which we would build uh, the world's best vehicles. Also, uh, in that same time, we had a, a change of many of our uh, directors on our board of directors and our, our CEOs. Mm -hmm. And one of the new board members, uh, first time I met him, within a, about a minute, uh, he started to recount, now I'm going to get the date wrong, but it was in the 80s. He had bought a General Motors vehicles in the 80s, I think 88, and the vehicle let him down. The vehicle broke down while, they, while he had his family and they were on a trip of some sort. And he was, he was retelling that story as if it happened that morning. It was very present. And he kept that in him, and he was, you know, it was almost cathartic just to watch him. <laughs> and, and his drive was, how will that never happen again? Why did that happen? And it was like, why did it happen? It was in the 80s. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. But, but how uh, will it never yeah. happen again? But the drive was, yeah. it can't ever happen again. When this happens to our customers, they lose trust. We've broken our promise. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's been, you know, from top down, bottom up, it's, it's just been that uh, refreshing uh, aspect of this. We've come out of bankruptcy and created the new GM. Uh, having that as our bedrock is, mm -hmm. is really great. And, and people know it. You know, our, our employees feel it. They know it, that this is how it, and there's a pride. How it should have been. Oh, there's a, it's, it really is a, uh, an esprit de corps and a morale to know that what I do matters.